Well, hello, everybody. Welcome, Blessed Living Family. How are y'all doing on today? Well, welcome, new subscribers. We see you, and we're so excited about every last one of you. Thank you for coming along. I hope you enjoy uh, the Blessed Living channel and some of share some of our recipes, decor, shopping. We're going to do some shopping field trips and some exciting things. And me and my husband will sit out and eat with you guys. And we're going to do some great things, y'all. It's just getting started. It's just the beginning. And it's all just meant to be a blessing to you. And uh, not saying we live any better than anyone, but we're, we're people who are trying and who just love uh, the beauty of the Lord and uh, just so thankful for him and just trying to share that joy and that goodness with you all. Yeah, amen. So we're going to do a nice homemade chocolate cake, y'all. And um, the only part that I'm going to be, uh, it's not going to be homemade, is my sugar-free Pillsbury double chocolate frosting i really love this frosting and you don't get all of that sugar see and so um instead of me pulling out my whipping cream and my chocolate i'm just going to use this on today i hope y'all don't mind but it also lets you know that you can make semi homemade just as well as homemade and you use what you have and just come out with a good dish that's good that's that's what it's all about yeah so I got my bowl here I've got four eggs I'm gonna be using I've got my sugar here you can use Splenda Truvia we've got um, our softened butter I've got self-rising flour I've got some vanilla that I'm going to be using. A lot of people like the extra taste uh, uh, of coffee in chocolate cake. I tell you, it's really amazing how uh, a couple of tablespoons or half a cup of coffee really hits, really hooks up that uh, chocolate cake. I'm not going to use it today, but one day I'm going to use it in one of the chocolate cake recipes. I've I, I heard about it and I used it before. And this just adds a really strong kick. And then here we've got our Baker's Semi-Sweet Chocolate here. And we're going to be melting that down and adding it into, into the, uh, to the batter. So let's get the batter made up. Let's get our butter in the dish. And help me, Lord. I need help. Y'all, I don't like to do nothing without him. And I tell you, I just like to go with him, do what he says, and just just like to uh, have that help that I need to do anything that I do. I'm going to turn on this here. I hope it's uh, locked in good. And we're going to just start melting, whipping up that butter creamy. Get it all nice and creamy. Nice and whipped up. Then we'll drop our eggs in one at a time. We only have four. And um, some recipes call for six, even eight for pound cakes. And uh, but four is what we're going to use for this recipe. And I'm going to drop them in one at a time. Let's get it in until we get all four in. until we get all four in okay all four eggs have been uh, mixed in with the with the uh, mixer and we're going to add two and a half cups of sugar right on in there and we're going to also add our vanilla Let's 
let's just get it mixed on in. Smell the vanilla, y'all. I love that smell. And it's a good time to start practicing your baking for Thanksgiving, Christmas, the holidays. Yeah. All the good stuff and good treats and cookies and all kinds of things coming up. Now I'm going to incorporate my self-rising flour. And it's going to be three cups. Get my cup measurement. I got one cup. Two cups. This is self rising. I got three cups, and that one had a little less, so I'm going to add just a little more right there. Make sure I got the equal measurements. And this is where I'm going to add my milk slowly. And this is where I'm going to add my milk slowly because I don't want to get that too, li too liquefied. So I'm going to go in slowly with that, and as, as I need more, I'll add more. And see, this is the way you see how your batter is going to turn out, and you'll know when you need more milk and I need some more so I'm going to add more milk in let's get my side scraped all up Add that milk slowly. Get it all in there. You want a good batter because how you Put it in the oven is how it's going to come out. And we're just doing a nice chocolate sheet cake, y'all. How many like sheet cakes? I love sheet cakes. And I love all kinds of cake. I like the pound cakes, the, the layer cakes, and I like the sheet cakes. Sheet cakes are good for uh, birthdays and things uh, like that, but... Uh, also, snacking, snack cakes, they call them. Look at that all mixed up. Okay, so now that I'm going to go in with the, the stick of butter in my chocolate. Start melting that chocolate down to go in that cake. Now I'm going to melt that chocolate with uh, a stick of butter here so that I can get some good, nice cocoa in there, that chocolate cake, and that's what's going to turn it into a good, rich chocolate cake. Now 
make it decadent and moist. This is a semi-sweet chocolate bar. Baker's chocolate. I love Baker's products. And we'll add it to the batter. Now, let's get that melted beautiful chocolate and butter into our batter. And that smells so good, y'all. Trying to get as much as I can out of here. Yeah. I'm going to just start incorporating that into our batter. Turn it into a rich chocolate cake. Like I say, you use more, make it more chocolatey. It's a beautiful batter. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more chocolate in there, y'all. I'd like it to be a little bit more chocolatey. Yep, I'm gonna melt that whole, I'm gonna put that whole bar in. I'll just get all that rich chocolate. I add just a little half a stick of butter there because this chocolate has to hold on to something or it'll stick all over the pan. And you don't want that to happen. So we'll just melt it and put it in the cake. Now let's get the rest of that chocolate in there, which I think I'm gonna be pleased now. The more chocolatey, the better. Uh -huh. Let's get, it. let's mix it in there. Get it in there. That's the color we're going for. That deep dark. Yeah. Color and flavor. Somebody comment. Color and flavor. <laughs> oh, that's, what, that's the word every week, y'all. Color and flavor. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Color and flavor. Now, of course, we're going to add just a little oil. I'm going to add about two, well, I think I'm one fourth a cup of that oil slowly in. So we're going to have a moist, but not, now have, we don't want a dry cake. Moist and decadent. Decadent. 
Okay, so I have uh, added some of that grease into my pan here. I'm using a ceramic sheet baking dish here to make a nice sheet cake. And I'm taking my knuckles and just spreading that oil around. I'm going to pour a little ex in the ex ex excess off. What I'm doing is dusting my pan. I'm going to add some flour. I'm going to spread that all along my sides so that my cake comes out. Not sticking to the pan. I, actually, I, I love the look of the dust of the flour on the, on the cake. Some people like to use the spray, but I love the look of the flour dust it baked into the cake. I think it looks so beautiful. And let's just get it off into that pan. Remember a beautiful batter will make a beautiful cake. So we want to be careful of the consistency. It's not too liquidy. What you put in will come back out. I'll spread that around. Get it in there. Let's get it in the oven. And let's get it in that oven. And we've got it at 325. All right, y'all, that is smelling so delicious. Look, y'all, look at that beautiful decadent chocolate cake. It's just hot out the oven, so we're going to have to let it cool off. And before we can put that nice chocolate frosting on there, and you just have a nice uh, good snacking cake, dessert cake. You can make it for a birthday person or a baby shower, whatever. It's just a good way to make a nice dish and a nice cake. Y'all comment who's going to make this dish. Who's going to make this beautiful cake? Give us a good comment. And let's let it cool off so we can frost it. And voila, everybody. Look at there. You got you a nice snacking cake for the family, for the event, for the bridal shower, whatever. Birthday party. <laughs> A nice, beautiful, homemade chocolate, chocolate, chocolate cake, y'all. And just enjoy it. We frosted it with the uh, Pillsbury sugar-free frosting. And you can see that. How delicious. It's moist. It's good. Oh, I wish I could just eat this with y'all because it smells so good. You can just smell the butter and vanilla coming through in the chocolate. And I just know y'all going to love this sheet cake. And you can take that recipe also and make it into a pound cake, whatever pan you have, you know. But I like sheet cakes sometimes because it's like a snack and good cold glass of ice milk, you know. Or maybe your coffee and tea. I just know you're going to love that. And y'all comment who's going to make this recipe. And I just hope you enjoy it. It'd be a blessing to your household or event or whatever. Maybe over the holidays. Ain't nothing like chocolate cake. I don't care what kind you make. You gotta go back to chocolate. <laughs> and I just love y'all and thank God for you. I thank God for you. I really do. Y'all make us want to just do this channel. And like, share, subscribe, comment. Who gonna make try this good recipe here? With all these delicious ingredients full of love. And we just love y'all. And I just thank God for you. Be blessed and safe until I see you next video. Mm -hmm.